The boy put the locust in his hand, and the locust nibbled on his finger, even falling in love with the taste of the meat. After a few days, the number of locusts feeding on each other did not decrease, but multiplied faster. The mother found out and began to explore new feeding methods, because recently the locust's breeding rate has declined. The farm is facing closure. Until this day, the woman fell on the ground while feeding the locusts. When she woke up, she found that her body was covered with locusts, eating her flesh and blood with relish. The woman ran out in panic. The next day she found locusts that had eaten human blood, and not only became extremely excited, but also began to lay eggs. To confirm her terrible thoughts, she put her unbandaged hand into the locust shed. Soon the locusts were crawling all over her arms. The next day, the woman came to the shed, and found new eggs everywhere. She repeated the practice every day, feeding the locusts with her own blood. Every day the locusts grew and produced more and more. The woman found Jack to help expand the breeding shed, but the problem was that her body could not meet the grasshopper swarm. She had to think of other ways. Women by blood and flour mixed, made into a jelly shape to feed the locusts. With the continuous supply of blood, there are large quantities of locusts. Even some people come to buy. The woman roasted the locusts and offered them to the door guests to taste, and the delicious taste was impossible to refuse. But her daughter became the laughingstock of her classmates because she raised locusts at home. One day the daughter rushed into the locust shed and cut all the breeding bags with a knife, and the locust swarmed into the air. The boy in the distance sensed the danger was approaching. Tens of thousands of locusts swept in an instant. Fortunately, the boy hid in the car and narrowly escaped, but his lamb was taken away by a terrible force. The boy hurried to his mother and told her everything. She had found the lamb's body in a field not far away, and it was covered with locusts. When she got home, she reprimanded her daughter, and in order to calm the children's emotions, she took them to the beach for a holiday. The woman is ready to expand the breeding, but she gets a call that the blood will not arrive on time. The woman has to draw her own blood, and she is getting weaker and weaker. But in order to feed the locusts the woman begins to go to extremes, so she throws the neighbor's dog into the breeding bag. In order to feed the locusts, the woman sent the neighbor's cow into the mouth of the locusts. The woman collapsed on the bed from overwork every day. The daughter knocked on the door and said she wanted to send her brother to school. When the daughter returned home, her mother was nowhere to be seen, but some clothes with blood were found. The daughter went to the shed, only to see her mother covered with locusts. The daughter was scared to flee back to the room, then sent Jack a message to ask him to come over. On the other side, the neighbor came to the locust shed to look for his dog, but accidentally opened the breeding bag. Jack just got off the car and heard a sound. He entered and found the neighbor's body. Jack immediately understood that the locust food is blood. In order to stop the woman, he set fire to all the breeding shed, but didn't expect that the locusts not only didn't burn, but flew toward the house. Jack sent his daughter to the building locked up, but he was surrounded by locusts. Because the window was broken by the locusts' daughter escaped to the outside. The locusts are still hot on her feet. She turned the lake boat over to hide in, but the terrible locusts kept on the impact of the boat. Then the woman will blood covered the body, ready to use their own life to protect her daughter. Fortunately, the critical moment the woman dived into the water, and the terrible locusts were all drowned in the lake.